Dear students, welcome back again to our chemistry class. In our today's class, I am going to discuss about Lewis concept of acid base theory. Dear student, in our previous session, we have been discussed about the different types of acid base concept. What we have discussed, we have been discussed about the Bronsted Lorry's concept, Arrhenius concept, solvent system concept, as well as Lux fluid concept. Now in this session, our today's acid base concept is the Lewis concept. Let me see here what about Lewis acids and Lewis bases. Dear student, this theory it was proposed by Lewis in 1930. According to Lewis, what about the acid and then what is this? Let me see here. Lewis acid, a molecule or ion that can accept electron pair from some other substance. It is known as the Lewis acid. And then what about the Lewis base? Lewis base means a molecule or ion that can donate an electron pair to some other substance. Dear student, Lewis acid means here molecule or ion that can accept an electron pair from some other substance. Matund substance then the electron pairs and accept markondaga. Adakana vein and the hedikaritivi, Lewis acid and the hedikaritivi. And then Lewis base means a molecule or ion that can donate an electron pair to the another substance. Electron pair in a bare substance gain maadbe kanthandre donate maadbe ko. So in this case, Lewis acid and Lewis base na lena gathanthandre. Electron pair u accept mathe electron pair donate agudhrinda. There is a bond is created. A lena gathanthandre bond create agathe. So dear student, what about the Lewis acid and then what about the Lewis base? Lewis acid means a it stands for accept lone pair of electrons from the another substance and then base means it donate lone pair of electrons to the other substances okay so now see here lewis acid in another way here the electron pair acceptor electron pair na accept maadkoluvantadike enante heli karithivi lewis acid anta heli karithivi and next one lewis base what about the lewis base Lewis base means electron pair or not? Is it right, dear students? Okay. Here, in a very simplest way, Lewis acid it can be defined as electron pair acceptor, and then Lewis base means these are the electron pair or not. Let me check here one example that is NH3. Here, NH3 it reacts with BF3 and it gives NH3 BF3 bonding system. Dear student, in this one, according to Lewis acid and Lewis base, these Lewis concept, it is dependent on the which concept? Yes, dear students, it is dependent only on the electron pair. The Lewis concept is dependent on the electron pairs. So, dear student, here first one is the NH3 is there. Okay. So, now you can see this one NH3. Dear student, now you can tell me which is the central ion is there. That is central molecule or ion is the nitrogen. So, now what about the atomic number of the nitrogen? Nitrogen atomic number is the Yes, that is the 7. And then what about the electronic configuration of the nitrogen? Nitrogen electronic configuration in Bharate 1s2, 2s2 and then 2p3. Is it right dear students? Because its atomic number is 7. 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, how much? 7. Okay, dear student, now you can tell me here, which is the or how much valence electrons present in these nitrogen atom. In nitrogen, yes, the valence electrons present there. Valence and the outermost shell electrons, these are known as the valence shell electrons. Valence shell electrons and the outermost shell electrons. If sometimes you have a brain here, valence shell electrons are still there. Common is that you have a brain and you have a three and you have a three. You have a five and you have a five. Dear student, valence shell it is the outermost shell electrons. Which one is the outermost here? See, it is n is equal to one. 
and then here n is equal to 2 here also n is equal to 2 so means here n is equal to 180 is the first shell is it right dear students according to Bohr's postulates so here it is n is equal to 1 and then what about the next one n is equal to 2 okay so now it is about the second shell in this second shell it is acts as an outer shell or it is acts as an valence shell so now here how much valence electrons are there five valence electron okay so now n it is containing five valence electron so this is about the one two and then three four five like this one is it right dear students okay so here n h3 is there n h3 so these three electrons it is bonding with these three hydrogen atom these three electrons it is bonding with these three hydrogen atom so now here three bond pairs are there and then what about the remaining electrons here these are the remaining electrons how much is there two electrons so now two it represents a pair how the two electrons in the end of the pair and the head so it is containing one pair of electron one extra pair of electron these extra pair of electron we call it as a lone pair of electron e extra electron in the la other now in the head of the lone pair of electrons and the head of the way so now dear student now levis concept now in the one do electron pair and a code beko in on the end of the electron pair and a third of the code beko so next one in the lily bf3 and the head of the dear student bf3 that is the boron trifluoride what is the atomic number of boron boron the atomic number is for the yes five what about the electronic configuration one s2 2s2 and then 2p1 dear student now you can tell me here which is the valence electrons or how much valence electrons are present in the bf3 valence electrons is today three is there okay so now here three is there and in the end one lone pair of extra is there so now here your result will be nh3 bf3 so there is a bond create between these two here it is containing an extra lone pair of electrons. These lone pair of electrons to donate this one. So now Lewis base means electron pair donor. And then it is the acceptor. So this is about the BF3. So dear student, this is belongs to Lewis concept. I hope all of you understood what are the Lewis base and then Lewis acid. Lewis acid and then you know, electron pair and accept Markol Beko. Lewis base and then you know, electron pair and donate Markol Beko. Okay. So now, next one is the applications of Lewis concept. Lewis concept nalli, yavav rithi yegiru vantta applications varatthe. So first one application, Lewis approaches describe an acid-base behavior as independent of presence or absence of any particular element group or ion. First one application, what is the use of Lewis concept? Use of Lewis concept is the Lewis approaches describe an acid and base behavior. It is an independent of the presence or absence of any particular molecule, group or ion. Now second one main advantages of Lewis concept is the it does not involve the presence or absence of a solvent in acid base behavior it does not involve in presence or absence of solvent in the acid base behavior it makes the lewis definition highly advantageous and widely applicable okay so dear student what is the second application it does not involve the presence or absence of solvent ali solvent present irbodu athwa absent irbodu acid base behavior adr mele dependent agodilla according to lewis concept according to lewis concept edr mele depend agutte only yavadr mele depend agutte antandre electron pair mele aste enagutte antandre dependent agutte whether it is not dependent only on the solvent which is or uh, which solvent is present in the acid base behavior okay so now dear student next is we'll see about the limitations what are the limitations it is uh, having uh, applications but it is also containing along with certain limitations what are those so first one limitation is it does not give any informed scale of acid base strength dear student 
Levy's concept it does not provide any acid base strength scale ಈ ಆಸಿಡಿಕ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಇಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಇದು ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಸ್ಕೇಲ್ ಇಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಏನು ಮಾಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಆಸಿಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲೇನಂತಂದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಅಸ್ ಫದರ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಆಸಿಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಬಿಹೇವಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಕ್ಕಂತಹ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಸಿಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ಗೆ ರಿಲೇಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯೋ ಅಥವಾ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲೋ ಅಂಥೇಳಿ ಇದು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಏನಂತಂದರೆ ಮೇನ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ದ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಂತಂದರೆ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಪಾರಂಪರಿಕವಾಗಿ ಬಂದಂಥದ್ದು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷ್ನಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯ ಕನ್ವೆನ್ಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಬರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಇನ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ತೊಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನು ತೊಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ಬಿ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ತೋರಿಸ್ತತಿ ಬಟ್ ಅದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಅದು ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ತೋರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕಂತ ಥೆರಾಟಿಕಲಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಫೇರನ್ನು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ಡಿ ಎ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಡಿ ಎ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಯೇವ್ ಅವರ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಓವರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಲೆವಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸಿಡ್ how to remember this one acid lewis acid a it stands for accept electron pair acceptor okay and then lewis base electron pair donor so here our lewis concept is over in the next session i will discuss a new concept just you will be wait for that one until keep watching my videos dear students